Hi, fifth grade students. Today we're going to be working on an extension of our multiple bounce stroke. So we're actually going to be looking in your standard of excellence book at page 39. Now we're going to be working on exercises 23A and 23B. Now remember, our multiple bounce stroke is where our two index, index finger and thumb act as kind of our pivot. And we relax our fingers a bit so you get that multiple bounce when you hit. So try that. Notice oh, that pinky came out again. Um, we want to make sure that these fingers are gently gripping the back of the stick and just relax. We have to also make sure we're moving our wrist, we're not moving our forearm, and that the top of our hand still faces the ceiling. Same thing with our left. And if you are right-handed, your left hand may be a little bit weaker. The goal of all of these exercises, and over time as a young snare drum player, is to get the right hand and the left hand to match and sound exactly the same. So to the listener, they can't tell which hand you're playing with. So we're going to try 23A. I'm going to play it for you, and then we're going to do it together. So let's go ahead and listen. 23A. One, two, ready. So um, hopefully you could follow along with your eyes. Now we're going to try it again. And this time I'm going to turn the metronome on. And the metronome is our timekeeper. If you don't have a metronome, uh, maybe on a, you can buy one. Or if you don't have one on like a phone, you can actually download some apps there. You can also just type into Google metronome and one will come up. And if you have speakers on your computer, you hit play. Um, it'll be able to give you a steady tempo, which is awesome for when we practice. I have mine set to 76 right now. So we're going to try it that tempo, and that'll help you keep time so that you're not having to um, constantly um, either th be thinking about sticking and the numbers and where you're at. So let's go ahead and say our sticking, and we'll go along with the metronome. One, two, ready, and right, right. Hopefully that wasn't too bad for you. I actually had a problem when I was playing that in measure five. I played right, right, left, and the problem comes up with before that left stick is not a multiple bounce stroke. So let's try from measure five to the end, same tempo, and then we might slow it down. So measure five, so count one, two, three, four, five. We're starting with our right stick with a regular hip. One, two, ready, and right, buzz, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right. All right, now we're going to do it just a little bit slower. I'm going to set it to 60. And this time while we do this, I want you to pay attention to attention to how many bounces you're getting and does your left hand sound like your right hand one two ready and right Okay. 
okay? So take a look at that one, practice a little bit on your own. The next one we're gonna do is number 23B, and this one is a little trickier because we're starting with our left hand. We're gonna do it the same tempo at about 60, and stay your stickings. Remember all your rules, so tops of hands facing the ceiling. Make sure you're gently gripping the sticks, thumbs pointing towards the tip, V-shape, and we're using our wrist to move, not our forearms. One, two, left stick to start. Let's do those last two measures again for me. One, two, ready, and left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, let's kick this up a notch. It's hard to do it slow. So let's do it at 76 again. I think that's a good tempo. And the nice thing with the metronome is we can continue to speed it up even more. I'm not going to do that, but you can try it on your own for fun. One, two, ready, and left, right, right, left, right, left, left. All right, try that one a couple times and even see if you can speed it up a little bit. And watch that left hand, make sure that we're following all the rules and see if you can match it with your right. All right, good luck and have fun this week.